hi guys it's ray you're welcome to this tutorial today we are going to do a nude makeup look so to begin with i'm filling in my brows i'm using the deep brow pomade from anesthesia the lily heels the shade i use is chocolate i'm taking it on a small brush and filling in just like usual this step is so repetitive i think i'll start skipping it because <laughs> i've done it way too many times and then I'm taking a concealer. Normally I mix my concealer with my foundation to meet, to get a shade that is perfect for my highlight. I'm using an angled brush to, to conceal my brows. And then I'll take the excess concealer down to my eyelid because I'll use that as a base for the eyeshadow. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'll do the same for the other eye as well. Otherwise, how have you guys been doing? I make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow the family, and I'll also be posting a lot, a lot more videos this year. So, when you watch, I make sure you comment. I know most of people who watch right now are my friends, so just say hi, so that I know that you actually always come around to check. Yes, yeah, so I'll spread the excess concealer on my eyelid, and then I'll also conceal the upper part of my brow. I'm still using a uh, same brush carefully then you can also share some comments on maybe how I can improve the tutorials I generally need some feedback guys so if you watch this share some feedback and then I'm using a powder and a fluffy brush to set my eyelids and the concealer so because I'm doing a nude look we won't do any eyeshadow but I'm just showing you how I draw a wing. I know like we all know how to line our eyes. So I just use a pencil because a pencil is precise and makes it a bit easier. So I'm drawing my wing. It's turned out actually pretty nice. So if you're starting for beginners, just get a sharp pencil like this. An eyeliner pencil, it will be a lot easier if you're starting out to practice. Yes, and then I'm taking the mascara, the one I use is from Oriflame. I'm just coating it on my natural eyelashes. So this mascara is really nice and it's double sided. It has a side for length and a side for volume, so I'd actually recommend you guys to buy it. And then the primer I'm using is from, I think, Aremo London. I'll make sure I list all the products I use in the description. So I'm just priming my face, it's a matte primer and then I always mix the black opal foundation in Nutmeg and the Maybelline 360 foundation super stain just to try and get a shade for my skin tone because the black opal foundation is slightly lighter and I don't like to look too light in the videos and then the Maybelline is slightly darker so somewhere in between I find my shade so i'm using a brush this brush i'm using is from it's marari palette with bh cosmetics to just spread the foundation all over the face and then i also make sure it gets under the eyes because i want to make sure the under eye looks not ignored bright and then the beauty blender to set it in to make sure it's set in the skin so it looks like the skin gets blended in the skin so this concealer i'm using is from ruby kisses i just got it recently so i'm trying it out but it blends so nicely it's really really light lighter than the la girl pro concealer i really never like the la girl this is so so light so so easy to blend as you can see so i'm really liking it i'm using a sponge to blend this concealer and it's also not it's not too much coverage it's a very very light coverage so if you like a lot of coverage you might prefer the la girl pro concealer but i really don't like too much coverage but if you want a lot of coverage with this then you have to just like keep adding and building it up yeah then for contour i'm using my color pop concealer to contour my nose um, the perimeter of my face in general and then I'm taking that brush, that's a fluffy brush at the same time used for my eyeshadow to blend out my nose concealer because it helps me to keep it precise in the places that I want. 
and then I'm using my beauty blender to blend out uh, the rest of the concealer. So that the light keeps shifting, it's something to do with my camera. <laughs> I guess I have to change my settings, so pardon me on that. This stuff I'm just learning, guys. Eh? So if you know how to advise me on that, please do. Because right now the lighting looks good, then when I get closer, it keeps shifting. Then I'm using the Sasha Buttercup powder to set my highlight, to set all the areas that I've concealed. This powder is really nice. I don't know why it took so long to get it, but it's actually really nice. It doesn't dry out my under eye or my skin like the Maybelline powder that I've been using. So it's way, 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 way better than the Maybelline powder. And then I'm taking that black opal powder. It's a darker shade. It's number four. I use that to contour. And that's what I'm doing right now on a brush. Just contouring my face because I want the face to be snatched. I'm just trying to achieve a snatched face here, guys. So. Then I'm blending my powders, smoothening out everything to make sure it don't get any harshness anywhere on the face or look or ashiness. So next on to blush, I use the It's Mary palette for blush and highlight. Just take a bit on my cheeks and then I'm taking that highlight on a fluffy brush. It's from It's Mary palette as well. She has a she did release these brushes some time back on the palette, so they really work for me. Then on to highlight, I still use the same highlight from its Mariah palette. So I want a nude look uh, for today, so I'm lining my lips with a brown pencil, which is almost like my skin tone. That's what I'm doing right now, just outlining my lip to make sure that the... Because I'm going to wear a nude lipstick, so the liner has to be on point. When you're wearing a nude lipstick, you have to line your lips as a must to bring out the look really nicely. So the lipstick I'm using is from Kiss New York. I'll write its name in the description as well. I'm just taking it on a tiny brush and applying it on the lip. And then I'm also going to apply on the Maybelline lipstick, that one I believe it's beige babe, it's a nude lipstick as well. And then I'm applying the Kiss one on top again because I want to get a nice blend of the two lipsticks. Yeah, so the look has come together. I didn't want to completely ignore the eyelids, <laughs> so I'm just um, brushing through with one of the colors from its Marari palette, a light brown color. And this is a final look, it's so pretty, I love, 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 love it. I've always wanted to do this new look, I always people do it. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video, bye.